Hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be about what toothpaste I use because people are saying, what toothpaste do you use? So I'm saying, so that's what we're going to be getting into today. If that's something that you're interested in, keep on watching. So I'm just gonna jump right into it because ain't no disclaimer. This, 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 y'all see this? This is oh, it's upside down, my bad. This is the Dr. Bronner's um toothpaste. <clears throat> okay, so out of 10, I gave this a five, okay? Because it tastes weird and it doesn't foam. I can deal with the taste as long as it foams, but it doesn't foam, and I understand the foam part is the the bad part i get that i get that but like it was weird okay and then when it comes to breath freshening breath freshening no okay <laughs> no but the good thing about it is it does have coconut oil in it so that is going to whiten your teeth um it is fluoride free so you will de 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 decalcify your body or you can take steps towards decalcifying your body and your pineal gland and coconut oil is also good for healing cavities and things like that. So that's mm. maybe if I had the peppermint one, it would be better. But I don't know. This one is the anise anise. I don't know what it's called, but I, I mm -mm, mm -mm. so I'm gonna add this one because I did use it. Uh, I do use it, or I have used it. Why am I holding all these upside down? Um, this one is the Proxy Care by Arm and Hammer. It's not fluoride free and it's not natural, but I thought it was because I thought it had it was just peroxide and baking soda. Turns out it has those two ingredients in it, but it also is or has fluoride in it. So don't be like me and don't get that mi mixed up, okay? Um, but anyway, I also had the powder, but I dropped it and then I just threw it away because I was so mad that I dropped it. But I had the charcoal powder. Um, that one also very awkward very saliva y very messy very uh, black um well it kind of turned gray but didn't taste good I, I don't like the powder let me talk about this okay this hello 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 i like this this one is the one um the natural dragon fruit with um activated charcoal in it I like this one okay it does turn black or it is black on the inside it's it's black okay anyway it's black um yeah so this one it freshens your breath it suds up and it does give me that clean feeling and it's activated charcoal and it is fluoride free I recommend the fluoride free version they do have not the non fluoride free ones um, but I only bought I bought this one and I have the regular minty one that is also fluoride free um, I heard that something apparently if you use activated charcoal on your um, gums it can um, scratch them up this is a paste so it doesn't have any grains in it um, I don't I've never brushed my teeth with just regular activated charcoal but I don't know um brushing your teeth with baking soda is kind of the same thing but anyway yes this one i do recommend it i give it a 9 out of 10 the only thing i don't like about this one is that it is very messy okay when i say very messy honey i mean very messy like when you spit it goes black everywhere it's just so i recommend spitting with the water off and then slowly turn the water on don't just turn it on because then it's going to splatter everywhere it actually really in return shows you how much spit and how much toothpaste you get everywhere and you don't realize it but um yeah i do like this next my next one is just normal baking soda coconut oil and water and then rinsing with hydrogen peroxide um i'm gonna give that a three out of ten because most people don't know how to do that correctly and will ruin their teeth so do not do that incorrectly look it up before you do it and look up portions and then look up that you should be mixing hydrogen peroxide with water when you are going to use it as a rinse you can do that and you can also add in um peppermint essential oil for the breath freshening part of it that all tastes disgusting i'm gonna be completely honest with you but it is natural if you do have the right portions in it it is a good way to brush your teeth and keep your mouth healthy but yeah that's all I had to say about the toothpaste I use because a few of you guys have asked me and I have been trying a few out if you have any recommendations because I've only gotten through two 
two real na natural remedies well three including the baking soda one but um that la that i thought i'm gonna hammer was fluoride free and it's not but anyway yeah if you have any toothpaste that you use that are natural comment those down below right now i am here for the hello okay thank you bye guys